okay, so we're a three van convoy on the way. Paul's up front leading the way, Steve's in the middle, and I'm bringing up the rear, said the quiet master to the vicar. Or oh, tea, sir. Shook up your tea. It's going past it. Look at that. We walked all the way here this morning. We could have driven here. Saved my poor little feet. Not a worry. So run away in the Snowdon Ball. And a very nice drive it is as well. Let me, let, follow me for a little while while we're going along here. Men of Harlock, la 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 that's all I know. Well that'll do, suffice. A little teaser, don't want you getting, uh, don't want you getting greedy now. So, I'm going to uh, Mount Snowden in the front. Well, not in front of the convoy, Mount Snowden, the mountain, in front of us, just with a cloud kissing its top. And I'll switch off now and concentrate on the journey, and we'll see you when we get there. Body da. Apparently this is the route to a car park. Off the beaten track is an understatement. It's not a shale, I could just fall down on you. So, just about to start our last hike. I'll show you where we're going. Right up there. Up there. Up there. To the top of there. If I make it. <laughs> right. I probably would be too tight to talk on. I might do a little bit of talk on the way up. The battery's starting to go a bit on this. So I'll see what I can tell you, and we'll see how far I get. Okay. So, we'll start at the ascent. What's annoying is, I'm absolutely knackered after a little walk, and we've got people in a race on this spot in hot day. Steaming past me. Well, it's possible. There you go, then, Steve. And who are you, sir? Uh, my name's Steve. Yeah. I am roaming photography on YouTube. Roaming photography? Yes, apparently I'm the world's best photographer. So I've heard, so, actually. So my wife tells me. I've heard. I've heard that, yeah. <laughs> I've heard this, I'm yeah. sure it's a drug, but I've definitely heard it. Uh, and who's this other chap that's with us? I'm Paul Compton. Mr. Paul Compton. I am. You'll, sure. you'll find Paul Compton Photography and Roman Photographer on YouTube. Sorry to disturb your YouTube. Oops, sorry, yeah. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh god, that makes me tight in. <laughs> So that, people, is the final climb of the weekend. Four mountains in two days. Kidney. And all these people are ramping down sword and twice today. Let's not forget they've trained for it. I haven't. Right, four hours to get the top. Hopefully before that. See you then. The final climb. What's the betting? There's another ridge after that when you get to the top. <sighs> Soon find out. Another hour, I reckon. How much is it, Wood? Just as I predicted. Another hill. Another hour to get up there. <sighs> Onwards and upwards. I'm sure the shot's going to be worth it in the end. That better be. <laughs> right, onwards. Right, I made it. My mouth's like a camel's ass. I've got a shop in it. Can I just talk? What's annoying is people that run up at three times a day are asking me if I'm alright. We'll give you a scan of the view. No, I've not moved because I never used to do that. And I've done it a few times and talking away and talking away and I'll have to go back and I'll do it half minutes. Two and a half minutes of chatting with myself. Quite a few times too today. Oh, you've done it, yeah. I'm trying to get her to do a bit of B roll and talk. She wants to do a bit of B roll for me. Give me a little cameraman. Yeah. So we're quite high up, really. I had to use the fence post to pull myself up. So we'll walk over here, see you what's here. My tail's over here. I'm going to see if you want to see me walking across the grass. There we go. I'll tell you what, take my hat off as a nice cold breeze. Got me short on as well, so it's whistling up through the legs. Oh, save it. <laughs> that was a clam and a half. Uh, needless to say, I won't be doing it again. Right, I'm going to go and get a drink of water. Oh, I seem to prepare for the sunset. What's the betting? It doesn't happen after all that. It's going to be hard work getting down now. We were hoping to maybe see the aurora that everybody else saw last night, but it's, it's uh, all the clouds are coming in as well now. Never mind. I'm going to go and get a drink of water. Refresh the mouth. And uh, I see you later back of the, uh, the van. I'm going to cook a lamb stew. Well, it's a big soup actually, but it's still the same as a lamb stew. Right, see you later. Right, a bit refreshed. I've got a bottle of water needed. Need a coffee really. So, the sunlight just nice hitting, hitting the hills in this distance here. I'll just show you there. Just sat and hit him right there, and I'm going to hit on here, back in my camera. You can see it's going to well. I'm going to go F E F F eight. Make sure it's on hundred. Steady shot off, and I'm going to put in the time. It's quite windy up here. That's it. It's a nice, nice just in it here. So Mr. Compton doesn't get me shot. I'm press click. So 
So hopefully that climb will have been oh, it's even getting better look. Oh it's kicking off now. I'm gonna have to have to foot chop him out. Let's take another one. Look at that, it's kicking off nicely now. Yeah. Uh, the sun's not quite ready yet for it. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it corn for now and I'm just gonna oh it's freezing now. I'm glad I brought a fleece. So I'm gonna put a fleece on. And it's uh, it's coming up nicely now. I'm gonna move down and get that star actually. There's a star down there. Steve's got one right down there. And if you thought I was gonna go all the way down there to come back up again, got nothing coming. I'm gonna go and get that star with the mountains in the background. And see what happens. Um, if the sunset kicks off. I'll let you see it. If not, it'll be me cooking my stew. <laughs> Bye now. So that's me finished up here now. I'm going to slowly make my way down. Freezing. The one time I didn't put my big coat on the back of my camera bag, and it's freezing. Got this stupid little hoodie on. Um. Paul, Matter and Steve, they're all going to stay up and try and catch the aurora up here. I'm going to go back down to the van and uh, we'll see if it happens. I'll catch it down there. Use the van as a bit of foreground. Um, actually, I'll show you where the van If you can still see it in this light, I'll show you whereabouts the van is and how, how high I've had to climb to get up here. Now it's going to kill me toes going back down. Blinky neck. So, once I get to see where the car park is, I'll come back. Right, I don't know if you want to see it. It is... There. 50,000 miles away. So I'm slowly walking all the way back there. I'll leave them up there. How many are nice and cosy? Got a film to watch on a proper DVD. <laughs> Get that watch. And then uh, put me lamb. Big soup on. Look forward to that. Oh, I've got my feet. Right, I'm going to go now because it's too steep to talk and go and negotiate at the same time. There's, a, there's still some runners actually still going on. I was talking to a chap there, one of the. Um, you saw people running past me earlier. Speaking to the marshals, he's been here 24 hours. His shift finished an hour at 10 o'clock. Um, and I thought the race was over. He said the next phase is coming through now, which is people running 100k. Good God. And somebody's taken over their shift at 10 o'clock. 100k? Why would you? Just get the bus or get the car. Far easier. Right, it's hard talking and going down at the same time now, so I'm going to go catch up the other way. Good morning. And this is the final morning of my little snow donny trip. Um, not too bad outside of that. Yeah. Open the van doors, let you see what I can see. That's a bad morning's view, really. Sheep sheeping. So yeah, so I tie up and then uh, make my way home, see what I've got, until then, um, probably introduce you to everybody else when I say goodbye, thank everybody, and then 
hopefully there's some photos to show you now. Bye.